This is Brent with Likens Motorsports, and uh, we're doing a video this week on some uh, CHI 3B cylinder heads. I wasn't able to do a video last week, um, just was kind of under the weather and uh, was clogged up pretty good, and didn't think that you guys wanted to hear me sniff and have a raspy voice on camera, so I skipped a week. But... Uh, we're back this week and we're going to be putting uh, some cylinder heads together. This is uh, a CHI uh, 3B uh, 225cc head. Believe it or not, we've been waiting for these for almost a year and um, really felt bad for, <laughs> for my customer. Uh, just got caught up in all the COVID stuff and, and all the shipping stuff where the... Um, uh, the cargo ships were parked uh, off of uh, the coast of California and, and just couldn't get unloaded. And then they didn't have uh, people to uh, to do that sort of thing. So we literally have been waiting for these heads for almost a year. And uh, I'm going to try to get these things assembled and out the door this weekend so he can get them on his engine and um, and get his engine running so these are uh if you if you're not familiar with chi stuff these are my uh pick of the litter for cleveland heads the 3v is kind of a, a play on uh the different heads that came from ford from the factory uh back in the 60s and 70s and uh if you if you know cleveland stuff you know that they had a two barrel port and a four barrel port and the two barrel port was a smaller uh, cross-sectional area, a little bit better velocity, but were kind of lower, low flowers, I guess you would just say. Uh, the four barrel stuff was kind of the exact opposite, just a, a big old chunk of a port. Uh, really good performers, but uh, not as good velocity for, for the street guys. Uh, needed a little bit of RPM and some kind of funky cam specs, but uh, CHI is uh, Cylinder Head Innova Innovations out of Australia, and uh, they came up with this uh, this 3V port, which is basically um, a lot smaller port than a four-barrel port, but uh, with the flow of uh, of a high-flowing cross-sectional area of, of similar to a to a two-barrel port. So, uh, just excellent, excellent performing heads. These are 320-ish, 330-ish CFM ports out of the box. Um, they use a um, 2190 11 32nd intake valve, 1650 11 32nd exhaust valve. These are Ferrera, Ferrea valves that I'm going to be using 6000 series. And um, it's got... Oh, sorry, I'm picking up stuff off the floor. Uh, just got the back cut put on the intake valves this morning. And we're getting ready to um, uh, check install heights and get going. But uh, I feel like I'm out of sorts this morning. I feel like I'm, uh, I don't know, discombobulated, I guess is the word. I need to get my flow back. But uh, we're going to get, uh, I'm going to run a... Um, just got these cleaned and we're going to run some some solvent through the guys to make sure the guys are nice and clean and then we're going to check some install heights so hopefully I'll, I'll get my groove back here in the next few minutes all right so moving onward uh clean the guides got my valves lapped getting ready to check install heights these are a uh, 60cc chamber head and we will um check those out here in a second um, I have used these heads uh, for some pretty high-end performing engines. Uh, these heads with some port work will support about 380 CFM. And um, it doesn't really take much to get there. Uh, they're just really good heads. And you only increase uh, the port volume um, probably about, by about 20 or 25 cc. So you end up with about a 250 cc head 260 cc head 
um, that's you know pushing almost 400 CFM. So really good piece with these with these cylinder heads, bronze valve guides, uh, 530 seal uh, diameter, and um, like I said, these are Ferrea 600 or 6000 series valves. You can see my pattern on there from where I lapped the valve in. We've got good contact there. And um, same on exhaust valve. And uh, let's get some valves loaded up and look at uh, what we have for install height. Oh, one more little nicety. Uh, if you know what these look like on a factory head, uh, they're kind of oblong shape, kind of a rectangular. Um, these are the water ports, and if you use a Cleveland head um, on a Windsor block, that needs to be uh, blocked off, and uh, they make it really easy to do that with a cut plug, so that's a pretty nice value there. All right, so for um, the, the cool bits, we've got some manly um, titanium uh, valve spring retainers got some comp locators. We're going with Manly for the valve springs. Nice looking pieces for uh, the solid roller cam. We're going to be setting this up for, and then we're going to be using some some comp uh, guide plates and some oh trick flow rocker arm studs so i won't be installing those because the heads won't fit in the box in the boxes if i do that so i'll be leaving those out and um it's uh kind of um i guess uh futile to to try and just bolt those guide plates down without checking push rod fit first but uh, one thing i do want to point out uh, mr tom when you uh, screw your intake rocker arm studs in put some thread sealing on those puppies because they do run into the intake port okay uh, exhaust obviously do not but uh, they will suck some major oil if if you do not do that okay so a preliminary check i'm using some comp uh, standard valve locks and what these retainers are plus 100 and i ordered them that way um, we're at 1850 on our um, intake valve, which is where I want to be. We are at 1892 thereabouts on the exhaust side, so we're going to use uh, a little bit of shimmage here and um, get that next to 1850 because that's where I want to set my valve springs up. So with a 30,000 shim, we're at 1860. So let's take a look at some valve springs. All right, so at 1850, these springs were advertised to be at 250 pound seat. And as you can see, they're pretty spot on. We're gonna go down to uh, 700 lift. So we're gonna go to uh, 1150. And check our spring pressure down there. And then check our coil bind as well. Six hundred sixty-five pounds, excellent. So it's a great match for uh, the cam I have in mind for for this uh, customer's engine. We're gonna go ahead and check coil bind. So we're at an intro forty, where they bind up, and uh, mainly has some pretty specific instructions i'll show you in a second about how to set these springs up so um they do not want you to go under the advertised open height so uh, we will abide by <clears throat> by the rules and uh, we're going to be looking at about a hundred thousandths coil bond clearance which is uh, in that uh, sweet spot that we usually run uh, race springs in anywhere from 60 to a hundred thousandths 
All right, I went through and checked some other springs. Uh, the seat pressures were within three or four pounds of each other, and so were the open pressures. So that's why we use uh, quality valve springs, pack, manly, uh, PSI, because uh, you get that standard of quality across all springs. So um, now that I've got my install heights and checked my spring pressures at those install heights, I'm gonna go through and adjust everything and get everything the same. All right, so here's where we sit. 850, 850, 852, 858, 54, 55, 61, 56, all jammed in there tight with each other. Uh, good quality machine work on these heads. And this is typically where you find um, how good uh, a head shop's um, machine setup is because if there's any you will find the install height slowly growing or, or getting shorter as um, as you go down the head, but these are all in there really tight. So what we're gonna do now is um, check, uh, I'll get a couple of valve seals on here, then we're gonna check our seal to retainer clearance. Um, I can't stress how important that is to, to make sure that you have um, retainer to seal clearance, uh, especially with these higher lift cams and then we can get on with our assembly. All right, so I had 780 on the intake side and 760 on the exhaust side. Plenty of, um, of space there. These little guys wanted to get free, but plenty of uh, space there for a 700 lift cam. Let's get some springs installed on these. One down, one to go. All right, so we have an assembled pair of CHI heads. And I went ahead and poured the chamber, a chamber, and uh, got um, between 57 and 58 cc's. Um, so chamber was just a little bit smaller than advertised, but that's okay uh, for, for a race motor. A um, couple tenths of compression will not hurt anything. Um, yeah, so excellent set of heads. Uh, just so that you know what these heads are capable of, um, these are 225cc heads. The 185cc heads on a 347 um, with a very, very mild hydraulic roller pump gas uh, will make um, about 525 horsepower thereabouts. Uh, these in ported form on a 460 cubic inch small block uh, will will make um, on pump again on pump gas about 725 730 um, the 208 cc port um, is a little bit different than the 225 i think the roof is a little bit higher which allows a little bit different porting styles to be implemented on those but um, those heads will get up Again, around 380, 390 CFM, and on a 434 cubic inch uh, small block, uh, about 14 to one, um, that engine will make almost 800 horsepower. So, and 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 it's 7,000 RPM. So we're not spinning to the moon to get there. So, very high capability on these cylinder heads, and uh, that's why I'm a big fan of them. All right, guys, that is it for. Um, today uh, we got some snow coming in tonight so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get these packaged up and uh, my build sheet typed up and I got some other orders to get out today and then I plan on uh, sitting on the couch with a blanket and some coffee that's my game plan um, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and uh, again I thank you for watching and uh, I noticed that the the views and the subscribers kept climbing even last week when I didn't post a video. And uh, it makes me feel good uh, that I'm putting out stuff that you guys want to see. So stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do that so that you don't miss out. And uh, again, this is Brent, Likens Motorsports. Y'all have a good weekend.